This morning, we are heading somewhere incredibly unusual to do something completely different and we've never done before. Today, we are starting the Japan Express tour across the land of the rising sun with G-Adventures. Traveling to Japan has been a dream for us for as long as we can remember, so we absolutely can't wait to share this unique experience with you, starting with this incredible adventure. So, Saiko? We're heading out early this morning because we have quite a long day ahead of us. So we grabbed our essentials, aka snacks, from 7-Eleven and took the metro to Osaka train station. Arigato. As this is our first day, we spend the entire journey getting to know everyone else in our group and chatting with them the whole time. And a few hours later, we are right here. It's beautiful, isn't it? Snow makes everything more beautiful. Agreed. So a two and a half hour train ride, a 10 minute funicular and a 15 minute bus ride later. We are here in the town of Koyasan and we are going to a local monastery where we're actually going to be spending the night with the monks and finding out how they live, what they eat. And I think we're having a vegetarian meal tonight, yes. right? A really special meal. We're having a vegetarian meal tonight and we're having breakfast for them tomorrow. So excited. I'm really curious if we'll get to ask them questions, which I going to be rude. I don't know. I'm so excited. Honestly, of all the things we're going to be doing here in Japan, this was one of the things we were most excited about. This is going to be so, so incredible. I've always been fascinated. I don't know why, but monks specifically. I hope that in the future as well, we can have experience of living with them for a longer period of time. But as well, am I allowed to stay with them as a woman? Or is there a specific no, I don't know if yeah there perhaps would be separate sections or no I'm not actually sure on that. I need to ask because I've always been curious about it because I've always seen um, men monks. Perhaps it depends on what strand of Buddhism like from what country. This is the sacred town of Koyasan, the center of the Shingon Buddhist sect founded by one of Japan's most significant religious figures, Kobo Daishi. This architecture is absolutely beautiful. It's like straight out of a samurai film. Gorgeous. Look at this. So different, isn't it? Absolutely beautiful. It's just like Kishinau. Heading into the monastery and slipping on our traditional slippers, we weren't quite sure what to expect, to be honest. How basic would we be living for the next night? No and what would our room be like? Turns out, it was lovely. Okay. And we would be sleeping in a traditional Japanese tatami room. between the rooms. Look at this, how cosy. This is so cosy. And we've got a balcony, is this? Look at the view out of our window, oh my god. Be a 
I'm not sure the monks would be living in such luxury. <laughs> we just checked in into this beautiful monastery and now we're about to head out and explore the area. of the town is uh, 4,000, a little less than 4,000. Among them, uh, 1,000 monks. So every family is a Buddhist monk's family here in Koyasan. And in Japan, Buddhist monks can get married. Oh. That's a different. You know, Japanese religion is very tolerant. Mm -hmm. Not as strict as other Asian countries. They can drink. <laughs> they, they can go to the bar. They can do anything. They are the richest person because they are tax exempt anyway. <laughs> but anyway, I'm, I'm not sure. But the uh, Buddhist monks are sending the uh, normal life, just as we do. About the uh, religion in Japan. You know, we have two religions. As we continued walking through Koyasan, our guide Kozo explained to us about the religion here in Japan. Japan has two official religions, Buddhism and Shintoism. However, many people in the country follow both religions, with the amount of followers of each religion totaling 100 million people each in a country of 130 million. Religion here in Japan is incredibly fluid, and Japanese people often also pray to natural sites. And sometimes, once in a while, they become a Christian too. When they get married, you know, usually, uh, Japanese people get married in a Shinto style, not a Buddhist style. And but the uh, many young couples these days become a temporary Christian. Only one day, <laughs> only a one hour Christian, <laughs> only one hour Christian. Okay, and they get married in the Christian church. Okay, they invite the uh, Christian priest, and they do this. I don't know why I do that, do this. <laughs> and uh, an, hour, an hour later, they forget about everything. <laughs> and they go to the banquet room to have a party. It's a fascinating insight into the relationship between people here, how they live their lives and their faith. Before heading into the sacred forest, we had to purify our souls, demonstrated beautifully here by Julia. You're supposed to go around the side. Then the ladle. <laughs> Do you want to be purified? The forest path we're taking finishes in one of Japan's most sacred sites, the mausoleum of Kobo Daishi, the founder of Shingon Buddhism and one of Japan's most revered people. It's believed that Kobo Daishi never died, but is actually in a state of eternal meditation. I think it's so spectacular to us because for me, we're completely not used to that. That's what I love doing. <laughs> I mean, that probably answers the question, right? The train. When you see locals amazed by the place. The trees are just unbelievable. They're so massive, so wide. And the smell here is amazing as well. It's so fresh and you can smell the pine cones. You can hear the birds singing. It's the atmosphere is inspiring. You just have to watch where you go. I know, right? Oh so, 
uh, in the uh, uh, Buddhist graves, you know, the uh, Tori gate uh, standing. This is very unique Japanese culture. At the end of the path, we arrived at Kobodaishi's resting place, but we weren't allowed to film inside. After visiting the resting place of Kobodaishi, we continued on exploring Koyasan and its gorgeous and completely varied temples. To be honest, we don't need to say too much about this place. Just look for yourself. So we're back in our room here in the monastery and we're just about to go and have a traditional Japanese meal. But we can't really go out looking like this, so... <laughs> Ready for some sake? Sure I am. We headed from our room across the monastery towards the dining room where the rest of the group were waiting for a unique type of meal. Oh, what? We've all got matching uniforms. Give me a little peek in there. Oh, oh yes. Enjoy. Enjoy the atmosphere of the Japanese room. Mm -hmm. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Kampai. Cheers. Kampai. Arigato. Kampai. This soup is delicious. I'm sitting on my own. Loads of them. 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 Loads of Vegetables <laughs> and we have tempura vegetables, which are is to be the salt. We have some thing. Yes, we do. Uh, this is local speciality. We eat it with wasabi and do eat soy sauce. There you go. And what else have we got here? I'm not gonna lie, I thought it was a cheesecake. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> got some beans. Yes. And got some dessert. And quite a spread. And green tea. And some fruit. And I'm not sure what this is. Something pickled. It smells good. I am starving. Whoa, they're heavy. What shall we start with? I'm gonna drink the soup. Did you need your chopsticks for that? So, yeah, so sophisticated. I really want to try this. I'm being very generous, probably. Yeah, you could regret that. I could regret that. It's a little bit oily, but it's not like greasy, isn't it? It's really nice and light. Mm, it's really delicious. What is it? It's a carrot. Oh, okay. There's tempura. Yeah. Tempura, uh, tempura carrot. carrot. Lovely. Delicious. 
Like it's a poo book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's happy, we're happy. It's all bad. We have two selfie so this monastery is pretty unique and the monks actually make their own sake. The meal was amazing, as was the sake and the company of our group. We spent the rest of the evening chatting with them and enjoying the moment, until later on crashing in our tatami room. Good morning from Koyasan. This morning we went for a walk in the gardens and also went to the monastery to see the monks pray, which obviously we couldn't film. And now we are all packed up and we are ready to leave this place onto our next destination, which is going to be equally incredible, totally different. I love how this tour is just like so different day to day. There's totally different activities we're doing, totally different places, totally different sides to Japan. We're incredibly excited. I'm about 10 minutes late. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one, which we're going to start filming straight away. By the camera. Huh? Hey, by the camera. You were filming. I was. Oh.